Welcome to the 2023 Braintree High School Rugby Senior Ceremony. Tonight, we will recognize and congratulate our seniors in the program. Seniors and parents will be introduced and invited onto the field for a photo as well as a group shot. Our first of 13 seniors, Michael Clancy, son of Mike and Julie, MP will be attending Roger Williams University, majoring in business. Brian Rizzo, son of Sean and Tracy. Brian will be attending Clemson University as an undecided with an interest in business. Braden Willors, son of John and Karen. Braden will be attending the College of Charleston, majoring in business. Joey Malloy, son of Joe and Janice. Joey will be attending Westfield State in the fall. Jack Pursuti, son of Mark and Nora. Jack will be attending the University of Tennessee, majoring in nuclear engineering. Stephen Luongo, son of Stephen and Aaron. He cannot be here tonight, but his sister Mia is standing in for support. Stephen will be attending Brevard College in North Carolina, majoring in business and playing football. Peter McDonald, son of Brendan and Maria. Yep. Pete will be attending Roger Williams University in the fall. Danny O'Brien, son of Tim and Sherry. Danny will be starting a plumbing apprenticeship leading into the plumbers union. Colin Sprague. Son of Jeff and Sandra. Conlon will be attending the University of New Hampshire studying mechanical engineering.
Austin Carl Antonio, son of Joe and Shannon. Austin will be attending Bridgewater State University, studying business finance. Joseph Akori, son of Pierre and Fadia. His sister Pia joins his father as well. Joe will be attending UMass Lowell in the fall. Evan Milholland, son of John and Jess. Evan will be attending UMass Boston in the fall. William McDonald, son of Billy and Barsha, will be starting an apprenticeship with Local 103 Electricians Unit. The team would also like to recognize our team trainer, Kara Hines, for all she does to keep them safe and healthy. Congratulations to all our seniors on a successful rugby season, and thank you to parents, family, and friends for coming tonight. Good luck and go Wumps. Group picture. Hello and welcome to Alumni Stadium here for Senior Night for Braintree Rugby. Set to take on the Needham Rockets. Mike Wasser bringing the coverage here on BCAM TV as we are ready for the opening kickoff as Braintree will send it down the field. 35 and a half. Is Braintree ready to send it down the field? Malloy will kick it off. As this one will be sent down the field and fielded after our initial bobble. Branchy with the tackle and they come away with the ball as the Womps are already jolting towards the opening try. Bringing it down the field that time was McDonald. So 15 seconds in, Braintree already just 10 yards out from the game's first points.
Actually going to have a scrum here. So Brentje, if they could escape with the ball, they could certainly find their way into the end zone. Looks like Brentje has started all seniors here to begin this one. And this one tried to be punted away. Braintree able to block it. And now diving towards the end zone and the game's first points on the try. So the right idea by Needham to try and send it down the field, but the little drop kick was blocked and Braintree scores the game's first points. So Braintree with a five nothing lead here at home. And now a two point conversion upcoming. And the kick on its way, and the kick is through. So Braintree with a very good start here today at home. So actually the kick was missed, so the two points will not be on the board. Sidetracked, actually looking down at the roster, trying to identify a few of the players that have not seen here this season. And it is senior night for Braintree, so again, playing some of their players that they don't generally get into the game. So Braintree missing the two-point conversion. They lead 5 nothing. As getting tackled just inside the 40-yard line was Braintree as they will barrel forward with Malloy. Continuing up the field on the play of Rizzo, who is eventually tackled just over midfield. Somebody trying to get the ball as both sides just continuing to push each other forward. And eventually it finds its hands into Braintree's hands. As getting taken down, it was Milholland. So they'll give 10 yards. Braintree will again kick it down. And this one knocked out of bounds somewhere inside the 25. Just over four minutes in, Branch with a 5 0 lead. So a throw in. As both sides rise, Braintree wins it. And it's quickly shifted across the field as Mill Holland is going to be taken down quickly. finally taken down inside the 15 and now shifting it again to the far side and barreling all the way down and towards the 
try line. Braintree still awaiting to put the ball down, and they do right in the middle of the end zone. As Braintree has opened up a commanding 10 0 lead here, just over five minutes into the first half. So Braintree doing a smart thing at the end where Malloy continued all the way into the middle of the end zone. It was not five points until he put the ball to the ground. And when he did, it was right in the middle. So this will put him in a position to kick it straight on. So Braintree hoping for seven points this time after getting just the five last time. Getting ready for the kick, two point try. And the kick on the way this time, it's good. So a 12 nothing advantage. And Branch, you couldn't have asked for a better start here today on senior night. And the way this one's starting, Looks like Braintree could score quite a few points here today. And his points going up in a hurry. Last week of the regular season for all the teams, senior night games, and just one more left. That'll be softball tomorrow. As this one is booted off. Fielded by Braintree as this one moved up by Wallers. And Braintree with the little pooch kick. As in the air, it's knocked down by Needham. So Braintree will fall back 10 yards. This one played down the field and out of bounds. Somewhere just outside the 20 yard line, 21 yard line or so. Well, we'll have a throw in. So this one will be sent in from the sideline by Needham as they hope that their team this time will receive it. Oh, they go short with it. I don't think I've seen that before where they don't actually go up in the air. As in the middle of the field, it'll be Needham getting close towards the brain tree line but again the Womps somehow find their way with the ball as getting whipped down was Prezzuti. Right along the sideline Rizzo is knocked towards the sideline. So some instruction being given from the sideline. Again, short with it. It's Needham trying to rip it away, and they do. Now working it across the field. Braintree looking for a good form tackle. Not able to take him down yet. And the player eventually going down inside the 23, where they'll continue up the field. Some big players here for Needham. Ranchery certainly not used to the caliber that Needham has brought here in this one. Tough to take down.
This is a sport that everyone can play, so that really plays into the appeal of the sport. And it's a brand new sport at the high school level. It was a club team at one point, now it's a varsity sport. As this one is knocked down the field and kept inbounds. That was not a smart play. And Braintree escapes with the ball and a big time mistake by Needham as instead of just allowing it to go out of bounds, they leave it in and Colantonio takes a gift five points down the field for a try. And again, Braintree puts it down right in the middle of the end zone. And again, it'll be Malloy to send it through potentially for two more. So Branchu with already three tries here in the first half and we haven't even played 12 minutes. And a chance now for two more points to take a 19-0 lead. Rancher taking their time as they get ready to kick this one through. And the kick on the way and right down the middle again. 19-0 the score and Malloy, when he's given a clear angle, straight on, has delivered it. Obviously not an easy kick when the ball is off center, but we have seen a few teams most notably Weymouth, but that is one of the top teams that Braintree has faced. And when you have somebody that can kick it through from anywhere really on the field, that makes a big difference in a game. You think about how many times it comes down to just a couple points, how important those two points can be, potentially three if you get the three-point kick. So penalty kick could result in three, but haven't seen it in three games. I've seen just one of them. So it's certainly not something that happens as often as you would imagine. As again, Branchu will field it. Still with possession is Braintree Malloy as Needham again. Trying to rake away at the ball. Twenty minutes and forty-five seconds left in the half. Nineteen nothing Braintree. Scrum now as escaping with it is Needham. Played to the far side and that's a good play as they are able to track it down and a really strong tackle on the far side as that is Mel Holland able to take it away. So another scrum on the far side. 19 and a half remaining in the half. All Braintree. Needham not able to catch it cleanly. 
And that opened the door for Braintree to potentially rip it away, and they're able to come away with possession. As falling down with that ball was Elkery. A lot of scrums here in this first half. I think this is the fourth or fifth already. And is Braintree escaping with it? Throw to the sideline. And still inbounds. We'll see another whistle. We will see yet another scrum. It's about as dominant as a start as Braintree could have hoped for here at home on senior night. A lot of seniors on this Braintree roster. And certainly good to see the program has really Started to gain some traction. And the more experience the team gets, probably the more numbers they'll see trying out as well. As that one was ripped away by Needham, who falls down to keep the ball. Braintree running away with it now, and they throw it to the far side of the field where it's Rizzo. As Braintree still continuing, a high tackle, not able to rip him down. Still in play as Needham having some trouble taking Braintree down right now. And Braintree has some room on the far side, continuing up the field. Long run towards the line as Braintree goes down, contains the ball. As Luongo now blasts towards the try line. Luongo still going, still going, cannot be tackled as he is just shy of the try line. And a whistle, no signal yet, four points, as it'll remain 19 0, with 16 20 to go. Eventually see a scrum just shy of the zone. And Needham controls it, sends it to the far side, where Braintree is able to catch it. And with the head of steam, blasting to the far side. And Braintree will utilize the middle of the end zone eventually as they go down. And another five points for the try. So this one will be a little bit more off-centered than the last couple. Twenty-four nothing. The current score, pending the two here.
Actually, they're going to take the points off the board. Didn't see exactly what happened, but the points did come off the board. It's still 19 0. But it'll be played right towards Braintree again, who was very close to scoring on the far side. A nice couple cuts as Braintree towards the zone and diving in for the five this time. A couple of nice shifty moves by McDonald. And Branchy this time will convert for five. Kick on the way, and the kick is on its way through. It's a nice looking kick there from Malloy. Somehow able to squeeze it inside the post. Pretty impressive to see two more points. As Braintree has now opened up a 26 to nothing advantage. So Branch are doing just about everything right here in this first half. As we're just going to click now under 12 minutes with again the clock continuing to run and there will be some added time on as obviously there's been a handful of stoppages but I wonder if the score will factor into how much added time will be put in play. With this one obviously not very close. See how much time would be added. Needham just hasn't really had the ball in this game, which is a big reason why they haven't been able to score. They did get within 10 or 15 yards of a potential score. As Malloy blasting forward, and there's been some pretty good sized collisions as Braintree has continued to move forward. As Braintree comes away with possession, right along the sideline, this is going to be Clancy. As the ball is lost out of bounds. Not sure what the reason is for the delay, I think. Trying to make sure that things don't get out of hand with the way the score is. So it will be a Needham ball here as they will kick it to themselves. Ball continued up the field and again whistled dead. Right around the 30. This one blasted out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. Nine and a half to go here in the first half. Throw in for Needham as they look for the first points of the half. Trying to get back in this game. Right now being shut out.
They've gone short with a couple times off these throws. Looks like they're going to go up in the air this time. And the pass goes over everybody as the ball is free, scooped up by Brantry on the far side, Prasuti. As he goes down around the 10. As Brantry plays it again to themselves. Quick restart as Malloy is taken down in a hurry. Brantry probably going to do the same thing again. If they want to kick it to themselves, or are they going to use the sideline? Looks like they're going to use the sideline. That one actually does go out of bounds at the 45. Seven twenty to go here in a half dominated by the home team, Braintree. And now the Womps work it to the far side. Luongo dancing around, continuing to shake off tacklers. Just blasting by players. And on the far side, Brantry going to the ground as they look to play it again to themselves. So Needham will have to back up 10 yards. Brantry will have an opportunity to kick this one. Will be sent down now to the near sideline, fielded by Needham as they are taken down in a hurry. As Brantry somehow comes away with it. Player trying to give up their body here. As Brantry looking to maintain possession. Here is the Final 540, drain off the clock. Now to the far side and breaking free again and going towards the end zone for another try. As Braintree opens up a 31 point lead. Five to go now. The try there from Colantonio is second of the half. Ranchu will send it right in the middle again. And the kick on the way and again down the middle. The kick on the way through, 33-0 now is the Braintree lead here with four minutes to go in the half.
sent towards the sideline and fielded by Sprague. As out of bounds. Two and a half remaining in a dominant first half by Braintree with 33 points on the board. As this one is mishandled and it goes out of bounds. Braintree obviously reading that they have done that now three times. Braintree takes it on the air and work to the far side, Elkery with a quick swing pass and Will McDonald now with a full head of steam all the way down the sideline, continuing down the field and he scores again. Trying to remain in bounce and hands it off for the try. And I'm not sure if that actually ends up being a five-point try for Elkery, if that is the one who put it down, or if that's McDonald's points. Not really sure how that works. I would imagine it's Elkery's. Be just like in hockey, if you're going for the empty netter and right in front of the net, you hand it off. Sprintry now up 38-0, as this will take us under a minute to go. And I don't expect to see many of the starters that we have seen here in this first half continue into the second unless Branchers is going to play their seniors the entire game. So one more opportunity here for Braintree as they will get a chance to make it a 40 spot in the first half. Kick on the way, and the kick up and through. So it looks like we are going to be at halftime here in the first half, and I do not see the two points on the board, although the kick I thought went through. It's 40 nothing on the scoreboard. I don't know if they have adjusted it or not. Keep an eye on the scoreboard as we head back for the second half. Actually, so it was 33 nothing. It was seven points. There's been so many points scored in this first half, hard to keep track of it all. But that is the halftime score, 40 nothing is the score. And we will take a break in between halves and bring you back the second half between Braintree and Needham here on Senior Night. You might feel like there's too many problems in the world or that you, know, you as a 15 year old, 16 year old can't really make a difference. It's not always about you. It's not just one person, it's, it's a group, it's a team. If we all show up together, that's what it's all about. I was a part of helping to build what it is today. I'm really lucky to get to be a part of that legacy. Just that simple act that takes, you know, five or ten minutes of your time is making a difference and is transforming someone else's life. Once you get there and realize how much you can change someone's life, it's one of the best feelings in the world. I'd do anything to convince you just to be a part of this. You guys keep doing what you're doing. It's something special. Get up and try something. Just try it. Just go, just go to one event, one action team event. 
it'll just make you feel so good about yourself. Hello and welcome back to Braintree High School as we begin the second half and what is a blowout here on senior night. 40 to nothing is the score and it looks like a Needham player was shaken up towards the end of that first half and it looks like they actually only have 13 players. So Braintree I think took a player off to keep the game going. I assume you would have to have 14 players on the field but Braintree has a courtesy keeping this game going. You don't have a ton of regular season games, so Braintree just doing the right thing and keeping the game going. And it looks like we have seen a few substitutions as well for Braintree here as the second half has gotten underway. Needham coming away with the ball and then Branchy with a nice strong tackle. Both sides go to the ground and Needham again keeps the ball with the imaginary line of scrimmage. And getting taken down right there. And I think that was an illegal tackle by Braintree. Maybe not. Branchy will send it down on a kick. As the sun makes its way out. And this one sent towards the sideline. So I assume with the 13 versus 13 numbers here, probably gonna see a couple of changes in format other than what they would normally do. This branch will throw it in. In the air, Braintree with possession. Pizzuti to the far side and now Elkery who dishes it off and getting contacted quickly with Luongo. As Braintree continues to work it across the field. Oh, big time collision. Coming out of the pack with the ball is Braintree's Rizzo. On the opposite side, Braintree throwing it too far and it goes out of bounds. So four minutes in, here to the second half. We haven't seen any points yet. Needham works it across the field and intercepting that one as Branch with a pretty quick tackle as Luongo takes him down. 
And Braintree jumping across. Needham trying to get their first points here of this one. Big time collision as Braintree pushing forward the pile. So giving 10 here as Branchy will kick it. On the far side of the field, Marmai. And now given away to Rizzo. field now it's Luongo getting past one spinning off another breaking to the outside and again getting by everybody in the process as he will put five more points on the board and Luongo putting on a clinic there a football player by heart a rugby player by nature here in this one With 28 minutes to go, another five on the board for Braintree as they have not really been using the scoreboard as often. So that'll make it 45 nothing. We'll have to do the scoring ourselves now. Branch will just do a drop kick, and that goes through. Two more points. So I'm not familiar with if there is any sort of a slaughter or mercy rule in this sport, but imagine not if at this point they haven't called the game. They have 47-0 advantage for Braintree. is already continuing to run as is customary for the sport and there was no started stoppage time added at the first half there won't be any added here 26 and a half to go here in a game that Braintree has controlled from the start they had two tries in the first three or four minutes Blasting across the 35 now as Braintree gives it away. Both sides battling for the ball. Elkery has it in his hands. As he's whipped down to the ground, he took a big time hit. Looked like the defense may have actually taken the brunt of that. Braintree has pretty much emptied out their bench here in this second half. Now Holland able to make a couple players miss and now hustling down the sideline as he is taken down. 
Long run down the field for Braintree. So a high tackle up around the shoulder. We'll give a penalty where Braintree will send this one off towards the sideline. So 24 and a half to go as one of the Needham players starting to get a little bit animated on the field with his team down real big in the game. And he's going to have to be settled down by the coach. Can't really have that in this sport, especially with your team already down a player. So now they will be two players down. Parentry did take a player off. I wonder if they'll take another one off to match that. I did not see a card given. Parentry off of the throw in and they will go in for five more as that one is sent down. Braintree a chance to add another two. Malloy, who's been real good here today kicking. This will be one of his more difficult kicks. And this one is going to be a little short. He missed it low. And the score will now be 52 to nothing. 22 and a half to go. We'll see another kickoff. This one is sent down the field. And another stoppage. Shutner see this one lose interest of a lot of the fans out here. Rancher really has just dominated this game. Forty points and a half. It's got to be a record for Braintree Rugby, I would imagine. Brand new sport for the most part. And the referee talking with both sides. Look like we're getting ready for a scrum. But they're taking their time. So 
the scrum. As Braintree breaks free with the ball. And Malloy sends it across the field and now breaking here to the near side. It is Tutkus. As Tutkus has not seen the field in this game, now gets the ball knocked away from him. As Needham just pushing up the field, hoping to get on the scoreboard at some point here in this half. Ball fired all the way across and ends up being a forward pass. Took too long to develop that. Nineteen minutes to go in the game. And another scrum. At the 40. Just about 18 minutes to go, as Braintree has it just shy of midfield. As Braintree just works it across the field, throwing it backwards now. Looking for a little stiff arm, as it's thrown forward by Braintree this time. going for another substitution as O'Brien checks in. Elkery's night is done. Now a couple of self passes as Braintree blocks it and rolling all the way down. And matters just getting worse for the Rockets as Braintree with another try. And even some of the Needham players unhappy with what they were seeing from their own team. So 57 nothing, 16 minutes to go. Looks like Braintree has a new kicker now. And the kick is short, no good. So 57 nothing is where we stand. Looks like Braintree's going to send a player over to play against their own team. Are they going to switch teams, I guess? 
The two players. One from Needham going over to Braintree. One from the Braintree players going over to Needham. Or maybe that was just before the game and now coming back to his normal side. No idea. This has been an odd game from the start with the numbers obviously being an issue at some point here in this second half with an injury. And a big high tackle. That's similar to something that you would see in football. They call that a horse collar. And that'll be a yellow card on Needham. Just over 13 minutes left now. Branch will throw it in from the sideline. In a game like this, it gives you an opportunity to do a couple of things that you wouldn't normally do in a game. With the score the way it is, trying some different strategies, some different players, and maybe different spots than they normally would play. Final 12 minutes of action now here at Braintree High School Alumni Stadium here on Senior Night. Braintree opened up a 40-0 lead after a half. Added 12 more points here in the second half. Actually 17, excuse me. 17 more points. It's 57 to nothing. And another scrum just shy of midfield. as it's picked up by the Rockets, and they will score a try. And I think that was a Braintree player that had put on a Needham jersey, if I stand corrected. So Needham is on the board with five points. Kick is no good. Oh, 
So assuming the score stands, it's 57 to five. So final nine minutes now of action here at Alumni Stadium. As this one is sent to the middle of the field and it'll be fielded by Needham who works it to the far side. A couple of Braintree players in on the tackle, including Bailey. And Needham continues it up the field. down at midfield as Needham looking for another try here before the end of this one. So Branch will send this one down the field. They give 10 yards back. Looks like another player shaken up for Needham, who's already lost two players during the course of the game. At some point, you wonder if they're just going to call this game. So now around midfield, we will see a scrum as we click under seven minutes left. On the far side, Brentu with a quick pass. Blasting it down that far side is Logan as Braintree continues to empty into their bench. Walsh now. A couple of cutback moves as O'Brien now in the middle of the field. Taken down at the 26. And now Marmai, who had a try earlier. As the ball is free, scooped up by the Rockets, who run down the field, looking for their first try of their own. Five and a half to go. So it'll be a throw in here on the sideline. A 
Looks like going to have to re-throw it in. I don't think the player was out of bounds when he threw it in. Standing on the inside of the field. Final four and a half as Brantry takes it up in the air. That was Tutkis winning it. O'Brien with a couple of dance moves to shake past the defender and now being held in the air. Final four minutes. So ready for one more scrum. As Branch comes away with possession towards the sidelines. Brantry dives to the ground to keep the ball. Three minutes to go. As Needham looking to get back on the ball. Flip backwards. Now moving forward, blasting towards the try line and diving down. And the signal is for a try. getting ready to kick it for potentially two more. And this might be all the scoring we'll see. 57-10, the current score, pending what happens here on the two-point kick. Kick on the way is short, and 57-10 will be just about the final score, and that's going to end it. The ref is just going to call it right then and there, and that will be the final result of this ball game as they end it here mercifully, 57-10, to the final score here at Alumni Stadium on senior night. So Braintree, a convincing win from the start, 40-0 advantage at halftime, and it didn't get any better for the Rockets in the second half as Brent you with a nice win here on the final regular season home game. Thank you for watching our live, or actually just our regular stream, not live here today, our broadcast of Braintree Rugby as they defeat Needham here today, 57-10. On behalf of our camera person here today, David Eric, I'm Mike Wassel. See you next time. <laughs>